I'm your host Joy and you watch in FOA Originals. Welcome to the first ever episode of Color Grading Without Lots. In this series we will be color grading different footages from various different cameras. So if you want to learn and take your color grading skills to the next level, make sure to watch every single video in this series. Now come back to our tutorial. Today we have a footage shot on red. The download link to this raw file will be given below in the description. So if you are interested in grading this footage yourself, then do check it out. Now since this is a raw footage we can go under the camera tab and select decode using clip then we can change the ISO and exposure non discretly to a suitable position from where we can start grading with now if you know your color grading basics you need to create certain nodes before starting your grade since we have made the camera raw settings in the first node we'll leave it as it is and start our grade from the second node itself which will be our noise reduction then comes the brightness then the color balance then we need to create the look for that we need two parallel nodes one for the look itself and the other one is for the adjustment then comes the final adjustment or overall adjustment whatever you want to call it then comes the video at and finally the flame grain now this is so called the basic note tree which we are gonna use while color grading our footage there are certain times where we use way more nodes than this we'll cover all of those stuff in our upcoming videos of this channel now we'll leave the noise reduction node for later cause once we do that our footage actually becomes laggy and it gets kind of difficult for us to grade our footage so we'll start with the brightness but before that we need to see our scopes so just right click over the footage then click show scope as you guys can see here I'm currently increasing my gamma then reducing my lift uh, I'm continuously watching the waveform so that my shadows are just touching the lower limit and will increase the gain a bit so that my highlights just touches the upper limit let's increase the gamma a bit and yeah that that kind of looks cool now moving on to our next node which is the color balance in this node we'll try to white balance the whole image so to do that we'll select these two light bulbs before doing that let's turn on the show highlights button then let's go to the qualifiers tab and under luminance increase the low soft and uh, drag the bar to select as much as the highlights as possible uh, we'll further qualify it by going into the power window tab and making a circle and placing it over our highlights now by looking at our parades we'll dial the gain control so that all the top parts of our parade are on a straight line and then we'll disable all the selections which we have made before before and voila we're done with the white balancing so here is the before and after in full screen so we'll move forward to our next node which is the look node in this node we'll change the street light color to a warm tungsten look so to do that we need to move to the hue versus hue curves then select the color from the image now as you guys can see here if I move the curve upwards then it changes the warmth of the street light if you look closely in our vector scope you will see the hue is falling right on the flash line or the skin tone indicator whatever you want to call it now we'll select the tube light and again we'll raise the curves to create a bluish green kind of color let me just increase the curve range and adjust the point Yeah, that kind of looks cool. Now we'll move to our adjustment node. Under the color wheels, let's select the third tab, which is the log wheels, and now move the highlights towards the green and increase the high range to affect a wider portion of the highlights. Then move the mid tones towards the yellow and red. Then let's decrease the low range to affect a smaller portion of the mid tones. Now if you see the vector scope you'll find we have successfully created a split complementary color scheme. So let's see that in full screen as you guys can see here we are actually getting close to our final look. So uh, let's move on to our next node which is the final adjustment node. Uh, in this node we will be tweaking few more settings in this to make it look even cool. So first of all let's increase the contrast then let's increase the gamma a bit. Then let's reduce the lift. Okay, so I see there's too much black. So we'll go under the shadows and just increase this a little bit. Then we'll adjust our pivot to see where is the sweet spot. Okay, so I find that suitable. So now let's increase the saturation a bit. Okay, so that, that's the sweet spot for me. Now I still want that bluish green color to be a bit more greenish. 
so uh, what I'll do here is go back to my adjustment node and just tweak the midtones towards the green and we'll do the same for the gamma so now let's see that in full screen yeah this is the look which we are going for now let's move on to our second last node which is the vignette so to make the vignette we need to go to the power window now click on the circle place it over our subject which needs to be in focus then adjust the shape and increase the feather now let's track this by going into the tracker tab and click the track forward button now as you guys can see here the tracker did a very horrible job of tracking our subject so we need to do this manually so to do that we need to click this frame option then we need to just move the timeline and whenever we see that the tracker has made a mistake we need to rectify it by placing the shape in the correct position now after making all the corrections once you play the footage you can see the tracker is tracking our shape perfectly now come back to the power window tab and invert the selection by clicking on this button then uh, reduce your gamma and voila your vignetting is done now let's see this in full screen now that looks nice now before moving on to our last node which is the flame grain we'll have to apply the noise reduction first so let's get back to our second node and click on this tab which is called the motion effects then set the frame to 3, temporal threshold to around 4, then unlink the spatial threshold and increase the luma to 0.4 and chroma to around 4. Now if we do before and after you can clearly see the difference. Well since this video is going to be uploaded on YouTube you may not actually identify this that much but this is how you do your noise reduction. Now let's get back to our last node which is the flame grain so we need to go to our open effects tab and then search flame grain now you just need to drag and drop it over your node now you can change the preset to anything you like but for this scene we will add 35 mm 400t and tweak a few settings so that's how you add flame grain to your footage now let's see all of these steps one by one in full screen So that's how you color grade your footage without LUTs. I hope you guys found this video to be useful. If you really did, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to learn color grading from scratch and become a good colorist, then definitely join my Patreon page. I have course available in both English and in Hindi. So till then, live awesome, stay awesome and see you guys in the next video.